Hello YouTube fam, how y'all doing? This is your Uncle Tim. This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, the channel that I ran and I review. Just left Target a little while ago after I left work, man, and I was in a store, man, and it was a little kid just crying in a toy aisle, and I was like, man, we just had this conversation. I'm thinking, damn, somebody's about to prove me wrong. We got a little kid crying about toys. No, he wasn't crying about toys. He was crying about some gadget that was over there that wasn't a toy man and i'm like damn you know we cannot get a little kid to actually be in a toy aisle and actually be happy there's no motivation for the kids far as the wwe figures there's motivation there's the wrestlers that you look at on tv far as for sonic you see sonic far as for you know just power rangers and turtles you see those you still have kids that play with those you do because they can see that you know, a lot of these action, you know, figures, you know, a lot of them don't see the appeal. And a lot of them are too expensive for kids. You know, they got the cheaper Power Rangers. They got the cheaper Turtles. Uh, they got cheaper of each line, man. And I'm just being honest. They got the cheaper version of He-Man. It is what it is, man. But you know what? Kids are not playing. They're not going for that. You know, this is a new age and a new time. You know, electronics right now. The internet rules everything right now. Imagination. It's still there, but it's used in different ways. The imagination is used to actually uh, push TikTok, uh, Insta, and YouTube, man. Creators everywhere, even young creators are doing this. You know, so the imagination is still there. People are still pushing the envelope, but you know what? They're not playing with toys. I think companies, as a lot of the subscribers say in the comment section, and to the subscriber who told me I should start actually um, commenting you know, actually answering some of the comments. Thank you. You know, I needed to hear that. I needed this swift kick in my ass to actually get me going again. So I want to say this. The companies need to switch their uh, focus from kids to adults when it comes down to toys. Instead of calling them toys at certain levels, because there are certain levels of toys. These are kids. These are mid-tier, and these are collectibles up here. And you got all the high-end shit after that. You know what? The focus should be shift to adults because we buy this stuff. We have the disposable income. The nostalgia really pushes us. We couldn't afford it when we were younger. Our parents only had so much of money, even though the stuff was cheaper. But our parents only had so much of disposable income back then themselves because, again, the pay wasn't that much back then. Minimum wage was what three dollars and some, three eighty five. Then it went to like four twenty five. You know what? You know, for the young people who are actually crying about all this shit now, imagine trying to pay rent off of four twenty five an hour. You know, now you making some of them in certain areas making fifteen dollars an hour, starting out at minimum wage, even at McDonald's and Burger King and Wendy's. So you looking at it, it's a different situation but when it comes down to happy meals and stuff like that for us from mcdonald's remember they were trying to do the grown people meals where they were actually trying to attract the adult collectors you know what i think you should put certain things in there and you could attract the adult collectors if you put things of value like masters of the universe some gi joe uh some marvel legend type stuff in there it don't even have to be like one of the it could be something 3.75 four inch figure to really push people into actually wanting to buy it. You could push sales that way, you know, because again, collectors will spend on something that they want. And, you know, as I said before, you know, kids are not backing the HasLab situation. They're not backing the um, Cat Slayer. They're not doing none of that. They don't have the money to back that type of stuff. Only adults do. Only people who have that thing called disposable income can do that and right now fam i'm using that disposable income to actually purchase things that i would like to have in my collection you know what i was raining on a lot of people parades because of how the economy is right now how inflation went up the gas prices the food prices i was talking to my brothers and sisters here and you know they were like uh you regardless of what it is you're gonna pay for what it is that you want and that is so true you're gonna spend your money on what you want to spend your money on regardless of how anybody else feel about how much you're spending 
where your money going. At the end of the day, this is your money. You worked hard for it. You decide where the hell it goes. You can, you know, take a little from here, from the food budget. You know, it's better spending like, shit, I used to spend $100 on food. Now me and my wife, we spending 200 And see that right there. Then, you know, they went up on the insurance on the car, went up on the rent, you know, or the mortgage, however you want to say it. You know, and I know y'all like, punk, how you keep saying they don't go up on mortgages? A lot of us pay our property tax through our mortgages. And, you know, once they raise the property tax, shit goes up. So you're sitting here and you're looking at everything that's going on and you're trying to make a difference. You're trying to understand what it is that you need to do to make your situation better. And everybody is actually finding a way they mix it and match and stuff together so they can get some of the stuff they want. Like I said, key point, clearance. If you can't do anything else, pick up clearance. The clearance pieces that you want. If you're a completionist, that's all good. Pick up your pieces. But you know, for me, I'm not a completionist because in this economy, I gotta pick and choose what I want. Again, at the end of the day, I pissed on a lot of people's dreams, hopes, and aspirations by saying, hey, I wouldn't back this. You shouldn't back that. They like, uh, this is my money. I can spend it on what it is, but I'm not backing it. And I'm telling you why I'm not backing it. You know, but see, by me saying I'm not backing it, making it seem like it's wrong for them to back it, I don't see the value in it. If I don't see things that don't make me say I want to buy it, then I'm not going to buy it, fam. Think about it. The reason why I want to buy that um, Cat Slayer and the Cobra Airship, because those are my grills. Those are pieces that I was actually waiting on. You know, I wanted to buy the Cat Slayer, the old one, because the old one, to me, is a lot better than the new one. The old one has, like, handles on the back where you could turn it, and it has a microphone, the eyes light up, every damn thing else like this one does. But if I buy the old one, that's a $1,000. I could buy another Cat Slayer. It's a different one. It's a smaller version, and it's like 100 and something. It's like the size of um, the Technodrome from um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the, the original one. And I was thinking maybe I should buy that one and just sit it up at the top. Again, at the end of the day, people ain't gonna really look at it and really pay attention. You know, I was just thinking space-wise. And I was just like, if you want something, you're gonna make space for it. That's how it works, fam. You're gonna do what you're gonna do at the end of the day. You know what, even if I tell you not to buy it, I can list every point to tell you to keep your money in your pocket. Guess what, you gonna spend that damn money on what you want to spend your money on. You may bitch and moan about it later, that's just life. We all do that, oh man, this was a horrible buy. But you know what, you gonna spend your money the way you see fit, that's just the way it works. And that's what I've been pushing. I'm like, man, make sure you buy you some pieces that you could actually see that are worth something. Don't do the FOMO thing. A lot of people been buying Funko Pops and this is how they were collecting. They were collecting toys like that. A lot of hot toys, people buy them and say they don't go up in value. Some of this shit don't go up in value. Some of it go down in value. It does. You know, a lot of people don't like certain things. It's a lot of Funko Pops that don't have no value at all. It's like a lot of Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards that don't have value. It's a lot of basketball, baseball, football cards, and hockey cards that don't have value. This is the point I'm making. Don't buy anything based on, you know, what it's gonna appreciate in value to. No, some shit just go down in value. And the thing that I've been looking at, man, I've been really pushing live your best life. You know, inflation and everything is happening, man, but you know what, you can't stop living. You know, next year they're gonna start where it's Americans going over to Europe and places like that, you need a visa. Do you know how crazy that shit sounds? You know, for years, we didn't have to have visas to go overseas. Now we're gonna have to get a visa. You know, you gotta pay to get the visa. You know, it's probably about a hundred or $200, but still, that ain't the problem. The problem is they can turn you down for a damn visa. And that's the thing that I've been looking at. I said, man, this shit is too much. You know, they stun our growth. They're raising the prices of airplane tickets. They're raising the prices of hotels. They're raising the prices of gas in your car. So either way, you screwed. You, if you can't fly, now you're thinking about, I'm going to drive. Hell, 
Shit, it'd be an arm and a leg. Why you think they asking for a um, stimulus for RVs and recreational vehicles of all kinds? Boats and stuff like that. Because people like, damn, the gas is too damn much. You know how much a gas costs inside of a damn RV? Man, uh-uh. This is why I say you got to be serious about some of the shit that you get. And this is why I'm pushing the way I'm pushing, man. I'm making, you know, better choices. I'm not just frantically spending money on just all type of clearance. Ooh, they got clearance on this. Now, every now and then, I get stuff from people for free. They just give it to me. They be like, hey, uh, you know, hey, look, bro, you know, I know you collect, man. You know, we came across some of these in the house. And we, man, nobody play with this stuff no more, man. You know, I know they go to a good home with you. You know, that's love. You know, like back in the day, you know, uh, when my friends used to clean out um, apartment buildings, they used to find video games, consoles, and things like that. You know, the shit is left. And if it's left there, it's fair game. You know, certain shit I don't take. I don't take anything roach infested, man. Mm -mm. Because people try to hit you with some of that shit. Uh -uh. But, you know, as far as the legit stuff, man, man, I pick up. Some of the toys I pick up. You know, once I pick the toys up, I have to clean them. I got to do all kind of things. I'm not just picking up random toys from people and I don't know where the hell they been. We just being honest, man. You know, we doing some things here. We trying to build a community. This is why I'm saying subscribe over there to Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews on Facebook. It ain't, you know, charging you anything. I don't get no money from it. It's just me saying you have a safe spot to be a collector, man. You know, with all of the hate that we get, somebody was saying, hey, they look at you like you're a pedo in the aisle when you're in a kid's aisle. They do. When people sitting there, sometimes people be holding their kids like you're about to snatch the damn kid. And you over there got all type of toys in your hand, man. You know what? It is what it is, man. You know, you got to deal with people when they rudeness and, you know, telling you, go get a real hobby. You doing too damn much. This is why the kids, you know, don't play with toys because of your ass. You ban them all. So I'm buying every toy in every damn store. No, kids do not play with toys no more because it's easier to sit their ass in front of a tablet, a screen a TV or anything because toys like one collector, like one subscriber, commenter said on this channel, toys are all over the place. They leave a mess. You know, your Legos, uh, your action figures, they're all over the floor. But sitting there having you to watch a TV screen, you know, a tablet and you sitting there looking at the tablet, guess what? This tablet is only in your hand. And by that being only in your hand, it ain't doing anything. It's just right there. And this is how we should be looking at all of this, fam. You know, this shit goes on and on and on and on. And we need to keep pushing everything. You know, the reason why kids are not playing with toys because there's no need to play with toys anymore. They don't have that as some requirement. They don't know what it's like to sit in front of TV with a big ass bowl of cereal watching the Transformers and shit like that after you get out of school. You know, sometimes when I got out of school, I had a bowl of cereal. You know, that's what I wanted. My mama would let me eat a bowl of cereal. It was just a bowl of cereal. The thing that I'm pushing to a lot of y'all is we really need to bring back some of the old school stuff, man. You know, what happened to Play-Doh? That shit ain't even popular. Mr. Potato Head. Stuff like that that you used to get for Christmas. Chia pads and shit that you really didn't want. But you know what? It was the pottery that grows. After a while, you start growing the shit. And you're like, okay, this kind of cool. Man, I had a whole collection of damn chia pets, man. <laughs> what I had in that thing. We weren't rich. But you know what? At the time, it was easier to buy your kid a toy to shut him up and keep him occupied. A $5 toy. You see what I mean? Right now, we are at a precipice, man. We are about to change. Everything is changing for everybody. But everybody don't notice that. Everybody is looking at the situation for what they want it to be. They want it to be something different. They want to be, you know, grandiose. Everybody wants something. They want the next big thing. The next big thing is watching what you spend. You know, watching what you spend on certain things. You know, I had to cut back on Funko Pops because I had got all the ones I wanted. Until I seen some new stuff that I wanted. It's just like with the figures. I had bought everything, the shoes. I bought everything that I wanted. And I had to stop. That's how it works. You stop. You don't keep buying after you have all the stuff that you need. You know, once I seen that cat's land, shit just lit up in my heart, my mind, every damn thing. Like, oh, man. 
Let's check out everything. I'm checking out everything. People showing me pictures. They're like, uh, they got this in store now. Are you visiting California anytime soon, uh? No. You know, I got plans to go somewhere else, but, you know, it's overseas. And um, we were going to go to New York. Oh, shit. You all know, just like New York and New Jersey, the damn hotel fares are just crazy. Hotel fares, hotel fees, you know, it's crazy. You know, just to book a hotel is an arm and a damn leg, man. Going to Virginia Beach, man, the damn hotel room was $450 damn dollars. I said, for one night, you fucking play. I understand these are popular spots during the summer, but damn, you killing everybody. You know, real talk. This is why people are starting to get back into their hobbies because stuff is too expensive. A lot of people are like, it's cheaper to buy these damn toys than to go on some of these trips. You know, I know you want to be Insta happy, you know, but shit, Insta real life, that's the best way to be. You know, do the things that you can and the shit that you can't, don't worry about. But to later, fam, thank you for watching. Peace out.